Uh, good morning, Sunday morning, I think, still morning, uh, just about. And um, this is the first time I've done this. This is my video blog, whatever, um, that I'm gonna put out there. Um, forgive me if I you know, make a mistake and if I get some of the information wrong. I'm gonna do my best just to do a bit of a guide um, for ticket day. Uh, it's just like Christmas, early, as long as you get that ticket. Um, but the build-up is immense and we all hold our breath and hope our friends and, and mates and family get in and get a ticket. Um, and uh, I know a lot of you, you know, trawl the internet for some hints and tips. And, and so, to start with, um, just to let you guys know that I'm non-profit. This isn't my day job. This is something I do voluntarily. I love to do it, Glastonbury is just uh, the highlight of my year and I'm really lucky to be part of an organisation that works all year round um, to make sure that Glastonbury um, you know, is amazing and we have an amazing experience. So um, I don't make any money out of this and I'm not going to. Um, I doubt very much we're gonna get that many hits that we actually make uh, any money um, on YouTube. But if there are funds made from this, then I will be giving that to the organisations and the charities that work um, at Glastonbury Festival for everyone. So that's that bit um, done. Also to let you guys know that this is just my personal experience and those of my friends and family and also um, uh, fabulous people that I've got to know over the time and years in our group. So uh, thanks to all of you guys for your little contributions. Really, really useful. Um, and to also signpost you, um, Glastonbury Festival, the official website, has some amazing information. So, you know, go there, check it out. Um, you know, our leaders put the information out there, so it's there. But I do also understand why some people like to use our group. Um, and that's that you do have that dialogue with people with experience who have been there. Um, and we can always signpost you back to the organisers as well. So, um, Dates. So, coach tickets, the sale is 6 p.m. Thursday, the 3rd of October. Okay. Um, and consider getting the coach because, you know, uh, it, environmentally more friendly with all of us jumping on board there. And also, you've got to bear in mind that at the end of the festival, all you have to do is jump on a coach. You don't have to worry about driving, you don't have to worry about the car park. You don't have to worry about the fact that you're really hung over. So um, consider the coach and consider going for tickets then. Um, otherwise, general admission tickets are 9 a.m. Sunday, the 6th of October. So this time in a couple of weeks time, it'll all be over for the main sale. And um, some of you might be getting drunk uh, just to celebrate and some of you might be having a, a, you know, a little drink to commiserate. Um, but I think uh, from, some of the notes I was making earlier, don't despair. Um, if you don't get tickets in the first sale, there's always a real resale. Uh, there are some secret sales that go on and later on after the general sale, I'll talk about some of those. Um, and there's always the chance to work or to volunteer as I do at the festival and still have the most amazing experience. But now to focus on sale day, two weeks time, okay. Um, there's going to be some things that you have to do before that sale day. So the first thing is, please check your registration. Um, if your name's not on the list, you're not going to get a ticket. So your registration, you need to go on, see tickets. Uh, I'll show you the link in a minute. Um, register your details, including a sort of a passport photo. You know, that really attractive look that you just don't want. But, you know, it, it's important to get that photo. That will then go on your ticket. Uh, the tickets are non-transferable. Uh, you can't sell them on. And you risk, if you try and get a ticket that way, not gaining entry and having paid an absolute fortune. So that's why you need your photo on there. Uh, you need to give lots of details, address, uh, dates of birth and things like this. So make sure that you have that ID as well ready um, to check against your ticket 
when you arrive for the festival next year. Um, so check your registration. Now it is, um, I, I think it's, it's uh, fine for a good five years, but if it's an old registration, you need to go on. But regardless of that, just go on, check, check that your address is the right address. You don't want your ticket turning up somewhere else. You can't get hold of it. So just go on, check all your details now. Looking at your registration, that closes the 30th of September. If there's a problem with your photo or your, um, your registration, you don't want to be putting it on the system on the 30th and then finding that your registration's not valid. So do it at least a week before and then make sure you check before the 30th that all your details are correct. Um, right, so prior to, to your actual day of ticket sales, you want to um, you want to join into a group, um, and this is this is just maximises the potential of getting a ticket. So maximum six in a group. Make sure that you th six people come together, form a um, a messenger group or a WhatsApp group, so that you can share the details and come up with one spreadsheet, one document with all your details on. So the details you need for your ticket sales is your registration number and your postcode. Okay, so whoever gets through first in your group then starts putting those uh, details in, presses proceed, puts the payment details in, and you're in, your ticket's gone. Great. If you're doing that on your own, you've got one chance. If six of you are doing it, that's sixfold. Okay, but also you can get anybody to try for you, families, friends, um, you know, next door neighbour, get them all to jump on and, and see if they can get you tickets share the details, but make sure that the details you have on that spreadsheet are exactly the right details. You don't want to be putting someone's registration number in, get all the way to the bottom, proceed, and then they're flagging up that there's a registration number issue. Okay, so that's my first tip. Um, there is no secret to getting sales. It's through the C-tickets. This is what you've got to do. So, um, other hints and tips, and thank you so much for some of my techie friends. Um, get everybody in the house to come off the internet. That is not the time for them to be streaming and playing, okay, off. This is sacred time. This is get your ticket time. Um, also, consider going to the office or somewhere where they've got super fast broadband, okay? You may have snail's pace at home, um, but maybe it's worth working Sunday, I know. Um, also, um, make sure that your browsers are working, that your um, gadgets, your, your laptop, your tablets, your iPads, your phones, they're all charged and ready to go. Um, and don't have multiple tabs opened as well. Have multiple browsers, and it's a little bit like you know, you're joining a queue for that ticket. There's one person here and there's one person here selling tickets. If you have just multiple tabs, all you're doing is queuing yourself behind that one person selling tickets. What you want to do is have one browser for this person, one browser for this person selling tickets, and so on, okay, rather than queuing yourself with multiple tabs. Um, that's the way it was described to me from a techie friends. Um, so uh, see what you can do with that. Also, different devices. Now, I've sort of set myself up here and I'll just show you. So, I've got laptop, I've got tablet, tablet, and I would have my phone. And the last three years, I've managed to get through on my phone. Um, one year, on a hockey field, middle of nowhere, um, but still managed to get a ticket for a friend. So, do consider using... Um, you know, your 4G, your Wi-Fi, your other devices. Um, tablets seem to be particularly good as well because they don't have the browser history and all the gump you might have on your, your laptop or your desktop, which slows it down. Um, but try on all of them, have them all there, have them all good and ready to go. Um, and then uh, open, your ticket, uh, open your pages, ready for the sale, and then it's a case of refresh, refresh, refresh. You just gotta keep going. Don't lose heart, just keep going with that. Um, you'll get through to a page, hopefully, where it says, please put in the registration details. Now make sure on all your devices you have that document that you can cut and paste the details in. It'll save you, it'll save you time. Um, I think it was around 19 minutes the general sale sold out last year, so you need to be on it. Um, 
So when you've got that all go, you're refresh, refresh, you're through, you've cut and pasted it all into there and you've press, pressed proceed, okay, and then you're through to the payment. Now don't start celebrating at this point, okay? It is not in the bag till the money's out the bank, all right? So um, make sure that you have money in the bank. Six tickets, 50 quid deposit each ticket, 300 quid, straight out like that. If you're using a debit card, make sure the money's in the bank, okay? But you can use credit cards as well. Um, I'm just referring to my notes now, just to make sure that I have given you all the details. So when you get through, um, whilst you're gonna be you know, manically typing away and cutting and pasting, also make sure that the message is on, on your message group that you've got through. And this is really important why you need to be coordinated. Don't join more than one group and make sure the people in your group don't join any other groups but the one you set up because if they get a ticket elsewhere you'll get through the registration details and then they'll say one of your your members has already got a ticket and then you'll be wasting time taking people off so make sure that the communication's good there uh payment i've gone through so you've paid now your ticket, you'll receive that beautiful screen that confirms that you've got your ticket. So you're on your way there. Um, can you consider um, going for the coach? Yeah, failing the coach, then going for the general admissions. Um, you won't get day tickets, the weekend tickets, unless you're local. So um, those tickets are specifically to within a location um, and those locals will be able to get tickets for themselves that are registered at that address. Um, tickets as well later on will be sent out so you'll be paying the £50 now and then in April you will pay the balance and I'll, I'll talk about that later on um, in the new year about that. Uh, caravans, accommodation, that's sold later. You need to get your, your general admission ticket to be able to get all of that sorted later. Um, and AD, thanks for your little tip. Um, he said, be careful now, be careful getting intimate. If you fall pregnant now, nine months time, you could be giving birth in the fields. Now, whilst that might be really cool for the baby in future years, uh, not so good, not so good for you. So um, avoid that now. Um, and there are other options. So do make sure that you don't get too crazy if you don't get a ticket first time. Um, so I think, looking at my notes, we've covered pretty much everything. Um, I, myself, will be trying out for some friends. I will have my beautiful headdress, my Glastonbury headdress ready. I will have my lucky cat throwing me good luck. As, as I go through this process, desperately trying to get some friends tickets. And um, I will post the link to the Glastonbury official site um, underneath this. I'll also post some other bits and pieces of information like the size of the festival. At the end of the day, it is a massive festival. It is huge. It's unlike any other experience in any other festivals in the world. And I am totally biased and think it's the best. Um, it, you know, it, it makes my year to go and attend and to meet so many lovely people. And I would to wish you all the best of luck. Um, by all means, uh, in this post, comment if you've got other specific questions. Um, I haven't mentioned children, I've just remembered. So children don't need to be registered and they don't need to have a ticket if they're um, 12 or under. Um, there's gonna be lots of other questions that you think about. Focus on getting the ticket, the rest of the details you can sort out later. And um, that's it from me. Oh my life, that's my first vlog, vlog, whatever it's called. And I feel like I've just rabbited on for the last uh, uh, 13 minutes to you. But um, hope it's been all right. Thanks for your support and uh, see you soon. <laughs>